Hello New Zealand, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan. Well we're tracking a big change in our weather pattern. We're about to get hit by a lot of westerly winds. They'll be calm some days but strong to gale force on other days. It's going to push temperatures up above average for the most part, especially by day, and it brings in a lot of rain to the western side but mostly dry to the eastern side. So there is a lot going on. It actually feels a little bit like a spring or autumn weather pattern simply because of the temperatures and the fact that our weather is about to be dominated by this westerly flow. It sort of comes in waves, so you'll get a warm nor'wester and then maybe a cooler south to southwest change briefly before the main westerly flow continues to come on through. There's a lot of high pressure to the north, most of it's stuck over Australia, but we'll see it spreading out from Aussie to our north, protecting us from the tropics, and anything that might be forming up there. There is a low just forming north of Fiji at the moment. So let's have a look and see what's going on around New Zealand for the next few days ahead because this westerly flow here is moving on through. So that means the rain comes back to the west coast. It is a little bit windy around central and eastern areas. That'll push temperatures up. Mostly dry in the North Island, but there will be a couple of light showers, and later on, these showers do start to come on through. By the time we get to Thursday, high pressure to our north is encouraging a warm, for this time of the year anyway, a warm nor'wester. So temperatures will be above average in many places on Thursday. That northwest flow moves over the South Island as well, where it is mostly dry, other than a little bit of rain around um, Westland and Fiordland. By Friday, we've got a bit more rain coming in. There's the next cold front. So that brings in a burst of rain, maybe a few isolated thunderstorms as well. The winds, they start to pick up a bit. It's going around a uh, storm down here in the Southern Ocean. So you've sort of got this big um, clockwise flow going around that. But the westerly is so big that the southerly change that's just there will probably get knocked out pretty quickly and, and turned back to a westerly. So. In the meantime, we've got a burst of rain coming on Friday with these strong gusty winds. As we go into the weekend, the winds stay blustery in some areas, so it'll be it's sort of strong to gale force. It's below damaging threshold for the most part. The rain is strong, rain is heavy I should say, on the west coast with those strong winds coming through, and it forms as snow higher up. The North Island's fairly dry, but a few showers do come through. Those winds ramp up around the lower half of the island and obviously around Wellington. On Sunday, there's the next burst of weather coming through. The timing's not 100% locked in on this. Uh, I'm seeing some updates showing it coming in on Saturday night, others showing lunchtime Sunday. So that's a burst of heavy downpours, and just like spring or autumn, could be a few thunderstorms. Warm nor'westers transitioning to colder southwesterlies, and then look at all that windy westerly weather that's coming in behind it. So Sunday might be a bit of an indoors day, and then we get into the start of next week, and once again, more windy west to northwest winds. It's warming back up again because that brief little southwest change is already going back to a nor'wester, and then it goes back to another southwester. So next week is looking pretty windy with these. Um, Strong westerlies coming through. This low will produce a southerly change behind it for a time next week. So maybe some low level snow just briefly. But uh, we're very much in a spring autumn pattern right now. Um, that's why it's a little bit warmer than it should be and why we're getting pasture growth and why we're seeing weather like this. But hey, you can never rule out a big winter blast coming through at any time. So we're not counting our chickens just yet. Winter has still got a long way to go. We've still got to go till September. And so we don't know what's coming in August. But for this, at this stage, it looks as though the rest of July is looking pretty much dominated by westerly winds. That's all from me. We'll update you again on Wednesday.